Happy birthday! They chorus as soon as I step into the kitchen. Mom is beaming, carrying a stack of pancakes dripping with maple syrup to the breakfast table. A single candle is burning right on top of it. Dad is already sitting at the table, smiling wide. Hiya! I hear my sister yelling as she bounds down the stairs behind me. I huff the candle out before she even reaches the bottom of the stairs. Genesis! Damn it! She yells in frustration. Autumn, Harmony, Fairchild, Language! Mom admonishes her. I flash my sister a victorious grin before I turn back around and give Mom and Dad an angelic, innocent smile. My sister Autumn is two years younger than I am. Last week was her birthday, and I blew out the candle on her special birthday pancakes. I knew she would try to seek revenge. Unfortunately for her, I came downstairs early today, and just like that, I foiled her evil plan of revenge. Mom disappears into the living room, and I give my sister another mischievous grin. She takes her seat beside me at the breakfast table and scowls at me. Not only are our birthdays close together, Autumn and I look almost the same. Sometimes people thought we were twins. From our light hazel eyes to our red hair. The only difference is that Autumn's face is a little bit rounder than mine, and my red hair is a darker red, closer to auburn while Autumn is more of a strawberry blonde. I'm also a bit taller than she is. I'm 5'11", which is just a little over the average height of most she-wolves, and Autumn is 5'9". Happy birthday, by the way, says Autumn. Are you excited yet? Excited about going to school on my birthday? I ask back, sharing my stack of pancakes with her. Mom gave me too much. No, silly, about possibly meeting your mate today. She replies, looking at me as if I've lost my marbles. I don't know. I'd be more excited if I didn't have to be stuck in school the whole day on my birthday. I am, but I'm not going to admit that to her. Yeah, we're the regular werewolf family. And as werewolves, we get the gift to sense out our mate as soon as we turn 18. That means for me, sometime during lunchtime today. If my mate is already 18 and he's living somewhere around here... I had to go to school on my birthday, too, she reminds me. I can't wait to turn 18 so I can meet my mate already, she sighs. Oh, I bet he's so hot. Hotter than your mate, the hottest guy in the whole pack. My baby girl might be meeting her mate today, Mom exclaims as she comes from the living room where she hid my birthday gift. She places my gift on the table and says, You're excited, right? I'm going to be asked this question over and over again today, it seems. No, she's not. She's not going to let any boys near her until she's at least 40, announces Dad. I resist the urge to roll my eyes at both of them as I rip open the wrapper. I already knew what's inside. It's a new airbrush paint set and mediums. I'd been giving obvious hints about wanting it for months. Thanks, Mom! Dad! I can't wait to try it out! I give them both a hug. Actually, I am very excited about meeting my mate. I can feel my wolf, Ezra, being restless and excited the whole night. My Ezra is excited, which makes me even more excited. That's why I'm all dressed up today. Well, okay, so I'm dressed the same way I always dress for school every day. Jeans and t-shirt. Nothing special. But yeah, I am very excited about possibly meeting my mate today. Not that I would ever admit that to my parents. Goddess, no. That would be so embarrassing. Autumn and I walk to school. It's just a 15-minute walk. The weather is mild, and I always enjoy the short walk. When we get to school, Autumn heads off to where her friends are waiting, while I stroll inside to where my friends usually hang out. Penny, Reese, and River are hanging out by our lockers as usual. Reese and River are mates. Penny hasn't turned 18, so she hasn't found her mate yet. Happy birthday, girl, yells Penny as soon as she spots me, drawing the attention of most other students loitering the hallway. She pulls me into a hug, and soon after, Reese and River do the same. You're going to have to wait until after school for your gift, says Reese excitedly. You're going to be 18, finally. Are you excited? asks Penny. 